for our final creature of this episode, what do you have for us, Will? We have the Stilt Walker, also called Strider or the Force Strider. It's a quadrupedal being that appears in Texas urban legends. There have even been real sightings of the Stilt Walker. Real sightings, okay. Yeah, so apparently there were these four friends in Texas that went to sit by a river with some beer, and one of the people you know, says his name is Jared, in the middle of talking, when he suddenly goes pale and says, holy crap. <laughs> they turn around and they see the Stilt Walker. Sprinting, bearding, <laughs> silently through the forest. So apparently, this thing is just moving. Spiriting. Spiriting. It's to convey rapidly and secretly. Oh my god. So it is just going this thing through, this is just through this forest. Cool. Almost said woods. Woods. <laughs> <laughs> just going through the woods. <laughs> it is just going through this woods. Uh, he shines his torch on the creature's face. Okay, okay, okay. I have a little problem right here. <laughs> this is torch. Um, they're referring to a flashlight. Whoever wrote this article is not American. Yeah. Because they are flashlights. <laughs> <laughs> not torch. That's fine, that's fine. Let me shine my torch. <laughs> we'll cut that. <laughs> Doing this. He turns to stare at them, and then runs away, easily scaling a large cliff. It probably said, holy crap, too. <laughs> yeah, it's like, holy crap, these four kids here drinking beer. <laughs> four kids here. The friends run away as a debate about whether or not to call animal control. Animal control? What is that? Animal control. <laughs> okay. You see something standing taller than the trees in the middle of a forest. Yep, I'm going to call animal control with that one. <laughs> Just happened, and like they just they just went into the forest and found 
them immediately. But are we are we sure? <laughs> and then it gets even more confusing because it says that they go into the forest and they find this decapitated elk with the still walker standing over it, right? And then it says it kills the person upon their request. What? Wait. Hold on. Does this mean that upon their request, so if the person asks, can you kill me? Hey, man, you want to kill me? Kill me, please. <laughs> um, and then they say the parents are missing, right? Well, did they bother to check? Because I know there's been a few times where I've woken up and everybody's gone, and it turns out they're at a grocery store. Exactly. Like, everyone's gone, and they went shopping. Or everyone's gone, and they went out to eat without you because you were sleeping. Or but, No, this person just instantly skips right yeah, to the nuclear they, and, and assumes that their parents are taken by the still walker, right? <laughs> and it goes and has the still walker kill them. Okay. Now there's a sketch drawn by a Texas man who claims to have seen one and he says he... He says, sorry it's so plain, but that's all I saw. Slash remember. If I tried to make it more detailed, I'd just be using my imagination to fill in the gaps. By the, By the way, way, I have no idea how its feet look. They were hidden by tall grass. Um, alright. Alright, um. It's apparently a very tall, hairy black creature. A little similar to a canine. It typically travels in a pack. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, just Four basically. five of them. But all of the stuff that we've seen, like all of the encounters we've read, has only included one. Yeah. So if it typically travels in a pack, oh, but it's known to travel alone at times. So I guess this person, these people just caught them alone. Um, but, okay, whatever. It's speculated that it hunts other animals and tears their legs off before feasting on their bodies. That is a wondrous sight. <laughs> that is very, that is just... <laughs> Some say it's an evil creature that will kill you if you interact with it, while other witnesses have come forth to state that this isn't true, having met peaceful and friendly ones. So it's been simply agreed that, like people, there are some bad apples in the barrel. Okay, still walkers. Sometimes they're friendly. Sometimes they just want to rip your legs off and eat your body. <laughs> I mean, hey, I've met a few people like that, haven't you, Will? <laughs> Just uh, for some reason, I want chicken. <laughs> you want chicken? <laughs> Let's look at some pictures of this um, stilt walker and see. Because there's already a lot of pictures on the site itself. So hopefully we can find some. I feel like we mostly, like, we got most pictures for the uh, Candy Island monster. That's where we found most of our pictures. <laughs> okay, so we got some pictures of the stilt walker here, including some. Pictures of people on stilts, but you know, <laughs> stilt walker all the same. It is what it is. Oh, that's adorable. It's, oh, there's Texas stilt walker stickers on Deviant Art. By who is it by? Will? This is Great Gonzo. Great Gonzo on Deviant Art. And that's great with a G R 8. Text speak. <laughs> some of these look really good, and some of them look like they're confusing other creatures for the stilt walker. I'm thinking that looks like a hyena. This one is kind of horrifying. I would be kind of scared if that one came out of the woods. Yeah. That's adorable. That is the cutest daily crypto drawings on Tumblr, Drew. The cutest Texas stilt walker. And then the one that I said was terrifying is the thematic conversion. On Tumblr. 8 of 10 Texas stilt walker wild myth. Mild with... <laughs> Mild. Wild this one. One. Yeah. On, it's on Tumblr. Yeah. Um, there seems to be another one that's good. This one, DeviantArt. It doesn't mm -hmm. say by who. It just explore best stilt walker art on DeviantArt. Honestly, you can just go on to DeviantArt and type in stilt walker. Just, just search Texas stilt, stilt walker on Google Images and you will find all of this. That's that's all we do. We just search the creature and... And it's getting a little bit more of 
like, what's that word? Obscure? No, the opposite of that. If you type in Texas stilt walker, it's way more than what we do. We just type in stilt walker. <laughs> specific. It's, yes, specific. That's the word I was looking for. That apple fritter got me messed up. This, this is just a picture of Texas. <laughs> In the forest. In the forest. In Texas in the forest. <laughs> I'd be scared if that walked out at me too. The whole, the whole Texas. The whole Texas. Texas with blood on its mouth just comes out at me. Um, no thank you. Daily Crypto Drawings 556, Texas Stilt Walker Galavan. Mm, that's, that's the same one. Yeah. And this one looks like a legitimate photo. Oh, it's a it's a YouTube video. Creepy pasta. So the stilt walkers are creepy pasta. Uh, apparently, we have been duped. <laughs> we have been duped. That's the rake. The rake. The we'll rake. Save him for a different video. <laughs> Not that he deserves a video, but we'll save him for one. Here's the artist's the new rendition. The Texas man's rendition of what he thinks he thought he saw. <laughs> You're gonna be going through editing this stuff and just hearing a bunch of clicking still. <laughs> still dog. Oh my fig beater. On deviant art. That's beautiful. <laughs> Let's see what else is there to talk about about this beautiful creature. Well seeing as how it's mentioned on creepypasta, I seriously doubt it's actually real. I mean where we <laughs> We've been we've been taken for a full <laughs> I we fell right into it the last time you ever get to pick one. Oh, see, I was very oh, excited so about this one because I picked it. I also picked the Canby Island Monster. And did I? No, I didn't pick the Guffin. You picked the Guffin. But that Guffin one. <laughs> the Guffin. The Guffin. <laughs> I think that was fake too. Yeah. I think that was mistaken. Yeah, just just some homeless people in some ghillie suits, and then this one right here is probably just like a stray dog or something, or maybe just a drunk hallucination because I doubt they were just doing like drinking. Well, sure, maybe it is like you said, a stray dog. A stray dog, yeah. Mixed with a bit of a hallucination. Paranoia can cause hallucination too, and being by yourself in an unfamiliar place can certainly cause you to become scared, and then the person further hunted it down, like Jim, and had it kill them, so they obviously <laughs> weren't in the right mind. Exactly. It's like, you stole my parents. Turns out their parents was literally at the market getting fresh tomatoes, and then they come home, and they see that their kid's no longer at the house. They call the cops, and they do, like, a search, and they find out it was murdered, and they're like, oh my god, the still walker killed my baby. So they go and hunt the still walker now. And they ask it to kill it. How very specific of you there. Maybe they were getting tomatoes from the market. I mean, come on, fresh tomatoes. Market nowadays, anyways. <laughs> they went to the market. They went to the grocers. I'm sure there's still markets around. Well, yeah, there's still markets around, but nobody calls them markets. They call them stores. I, okay. Yeah. I feel attacked. You should. <laughs> say market. They went to the market to buy fresh tomatoes. <laughs> just, just.